It's National Chocolate Day, and we're talking food science. That's right, I'm gonna get all sciencey on you. Oh yeah. Fears. And today in the kitchen lab, we will be demonstrating the scientific phenomenon of dynamic sensory contrast. Today, I'll be making peanut butter chocolate chip bars. And I got this recipe from the blog Avery Cooks. I chose this recipe firstly because it's simple and I chose this I chose this recipe firstly because it's simple and God knows I need simple and secondly because it has my favorite flavor combination. Peanut butter and chocolate. Oh, chocolate and peanut butter. So good. Chocolate and peanut butter, what a combination. And guess what? They make me so happy. And I'm always looking for reasons on my channel to be happy. And there's scientific research that tells us why these two flavors make us so happy. What do you get when you drop your peanut butter cup? You get a bunch of Reese's Pieces. <laughs> Dynamic sensory contrast is what happens when our mouths and brains are confronted with flavors and textures at the same time. Just think about smooth, melty, milked chocolate, and crunchy, roasted peanuts. Oh my god, your brain goes wild! Where did chocolate and peanut butter go to hang out? Who cares? They're just a bunch of goobers. I got my oven at 350. I'll be back here in a little while with my completed peanut butter chocolate chip bars and we'll talk a little bit more science. What can be better? Okay, we're back and here's my peanut butter chocolate bars. Oh my God, they look so good. And it turns out when we experience dynamic sensory contrast, our brains produce dopamine and dopamine is the neurotransmitter that allows us to experience pleasure oh my God, and now i'm definitely gonna blow my own mind because i'm adding ice cream to this lovely dessert Talk about dynamic sensory contrast. What is my brain supposed to do with that? Oh my 